All right, here's a bit of a spontaneous talk about studying archaeology, as the title says. I actually studied archaeology between 2003 and 2005. I didn't complete the studies. I actually ended up switching to cultural anthropology and then went through with that, well, to a bachelor's degree at least, because I found out that archaeology just wasn't really my thing. So this was specifically prehistoric archaeology, meaning time periods and cultures without extensive uh, written records. Now, there can still be historical uh, evidence of them from other cultures, but they don't have anything themselves. Like, for example, the Celtic Iron Age, there are some written records, but uh, they there are no Celtic sources about themselves. So, very interesting field of study, and if you're thinking about getting into these studies, uh, this is really to give you, at least my personal perspective on the matter. Now, you shouldn't take just my word for it, obviously. You should ask a variety of people and read up on it and everything, but it, it goes without saying. Studies is not something that you just, you know, lightheartedly decide in the heat of the moment and then just jump into it, or at least you shouldn't especially if you live somewhere where studying is expensive. So the thing is, for me personally, it was a bit of a disappointment. I didn't really know what I was getting into specifically. I was um, I was inter interested in it because I wanted to know more about how people lived in those times. And of course, that is what it's all about, obviously. But all the technical things on the way that you have to deal with in order to reach that better idea of what life was like. There is a lot of, well, staring at pottery shards for hours, for example. That was something that I struggled with a lot, you know, typology. So you have to memorize a lot of things, you know, different... Um, different styles of pottery, for example, throughout time. That's re really important because ceramics are one of the mainly useful things for dating a site. Um, finding out what time frame it is, that's generally, that's a very good form of evidence. But <laughs> it is extremely unappealing and boring for me, at least. And my main problem is I have really atrocious memory. And also my geographic knowledge isn't very good. Again, mainly due to my poor memory. And this really bit me in the ass because you have to memorize um, archaeological sites, at least the most important ones. You have to memorize you know, what kinds of finds were made there, the time periods, and all of that. So if you have trouble with that kind of thing, it's, it really gets tricky. Now, it's easy to get excited about archaeology when you visit a museum and you see the already assembled pieces or partially restored or at least preserved, cleaned up, etc. Um, but when you get down to it, there is during the studies, you have to look at like small little iron fragments and other little pieces of objects that you have to be able to take a look at and go, oh yeah, this is such and such item, or at least more, most likely, and then you have to categorize them and, and go by, oh yeah, this is type such and such. And so that requires a certain certain type of thinking, you know, pattern recognition and, and all of that. And ideally, you would also have decent visualization skills. Um, so again, that wasn't really... It's not really my strong side overall, even though I'm fairly decent at drawing, but it didn't help me all that much, actually. So the other thing is, if you're thinking about archaeology as a career option, it's difficult. I mean, before I even go on talking about that, of course, if you're really passionate about something, I would absolutely say, screw what other people say, uh, what the job market is like and whatever. If you're really passionate about something, you should absolutely go for it. Uh, but if, if you're thinking career, if it's important for you how easy it is to find a job and how much money you make, then archaeology is probably not the field for you. I mean, <laughs> back then I remember 
sitting in a lecture and they were basically kind of telling you telling us yeah don't get your hopes up too high most of you won't find a job in this field <laughs> i mean they didn't formulate it quite that harshly but that was the gist of it basically it depends a lot on where you are where you study where you want to work um if you want to study whatever celtic archaeology and you're in north america yeah you're kind of screwed <laughs> it really kind of depends you also have in most cases have to be willing to travel because you have to get to specific sites in the beginning when you when you learn excavating and, and all of that uh and by the way it takes a long time at least uh, in my case, I never actually got to the practical hands-on part that comes later. So at first, it's all theory. You have to you know, look at a crap load of different archaeological sites and, you know, as said, time periods, typologies, all of that. The methodology, of course, how do you date something, you know, dendrochronology and uh, a wide variety of different methods. You know, aerial photography for finding uh, potential sites and, and all of that. There's a lot of dry theoretical material to go through you know, to get an idea of the methodology. And, and that can be a little frustrating if you're just if you just want to get to the, the, the juicy part of it, if you will. If you want to learn about how people lived and all that. There is a lot to be said about it. And it's it's a very fascinating field of study and I, I in a way I kind of regret a little bit that I didn't complete it but at the same time I also don't it just really depends on your personal preferences so you have to be aware of these things again don't let me spoil it for you if you have an interest in it and if you if you have a good memory or at least halfway decent and uh, if you don't mind doing you know studying these minute little details, you know, puzzling things together and all that. If you have a, a lot of patience for looking at, well, <laughs> pottery shards and more pottery shards and yet even more ad nauseum, then you can definitely get a lot out of that because you will be looking at things like, you know, flint daggers and, and bronze swords and armor and, you know... Um, votive offerings in the form of, of gold bracelets and etc etc it's a lot of really interesting stuff so yeah let's leave it at that i just want to give you a little bit of input on that and uh yeah thanks for watching have a good one mm -hmm.